early start today. Gonna get a bit of coffee on board here and then uh, coach at six o'clock and then have we do a bit of gym training myself. Um, so I'm gonna take you through the eating, take you through the training today and the next couple of days, see how it goes. <laughs> So in the gym here, uh, just coming 6 a.m. So I'm gonna have this morning the eight is just a protein shake and then about an hour's time or about an hour and 15 minutes time I'm gonna be training, doing a bit of max strength lower body today. So um, I don't really typically eat in the mornings before I train, just because number one, I don't really have the time and then number two, um, I can't really get a big meal in, in time for digest and stuff. So just a protein shake this morning and a bit of coffee. So uh, yeah. So that there we uh, circuit there is based on a thing called French contrast training and it's kind of more of an advanced way of building kind of power and force trying to move, move heavy weights and then move your own body weight really with a lot of force to put it really simply. Um, so I've started to add that into my program now we're about five weeks out from the start of the season so now it's really trying to kind of peak that power and force development for the first league game. Yeah this is the first exercise today. After this year, a few we accessory movements. <laughs> single leg circuit so anything you're doing lower body work but especially if you're an athlete you want to be trying to get in that single leg work like everything you do on the pitch even like walking you're going to be doing it on one leg so sprinting jumping all that stuff's happening off one leg so you do need to train it i went for split squats there and uh, like a hip lift so hitting the front of the legs with the split squat and then back of the legs with the with the hip lift so i always think about adding in that single leg work Just like a wee bit of accessory work you can add into the end of the workout. 
if it maybe takes for time, then just focus on doing that kind of that strength and like power development work at the start, and then do your bit of single leg work. So, look, if you have the time, you can add in this in. I've went for uh, farmer's carries for like a Cossack squat, so adding a bit of lateral strength to the legs because we do everything in like a kind of frontal motion and everything's going forwards. It's good to try something uh, where you're moving to the sides. That's why I went for that kind of side lunge or Cossack squat, and then just a bit of core work, so add in the leg raise to it. Go for two or three sets this year and really just kind of pick, pick any three exercises, maybe three things you want to work on and, and uh, focus on that for a couple of weeks. That's a session done there. I think sometimes people think that, especially when you're leg workout, you have to come out and be feeling absolutely broken and dead, but the reality is if you, if you do that continually, you only end up breaking down. So when you're going to, to the gym, especially if you're lower body workouts, you're going to be productive, you're going to do kind of the minimum work you need to do to build your strength. Um, at this point of the season now when pitch workouts are happening and you're just a lot more fatigued and there's a lot more going on, you don't want to be absolutely smashing, especially the legs in the gym, so we're just working on that strength because ultimately that's the most important thing and that'll be the thing that'll sort of help carry you through the season is that strength that you're building now, so be smart in the gym and we'll absolutely smash it. Going to get a bit of food now, going to go for some porridge, protein shake and a uh, bit of fruit as well with it straight afterwards. If you don't have time, a bit of fruit, protein shake, as good a post-workout as you can get. Okay, so next meal today, um, second meal of the day, so I had porridge there earlier just straight after the session. This is now kind of a lunch. This is a pretty handy lunch. It's a good one if you're someone's maybe on the go or don't have a lot of time to make a lunch. So um, chicken and basically a baked potato. Then you can add a bit of veg or a bit of sauce for the two, but using a frozen baked potato and then just cook chicken so really doesn't take too long to prepare this meal. That's the jack potatoes, you get them frozen, take them with you, you can microwave them. And it's going for two of these here, so one potato, two of the chicken fillets, and then probably a little bit of sauce and maybe a bit of salad as well, dude. So look, a lot of the time this meal is just trying to get something that's handy for you, um, especially if you're working, like that's a lunch you could probably take with you to work, you know, if you do your session in the morning. and the Vitamins and stuff, the only thing I'm really taking is vitamin D and, uh, okay, and turmeric. Um, so that's one of the real two things I'm taking. Try and get the uh, vitamin D I'm using and then turmeric tablets. Okay, next meal we got going on is just a wee smoothie. So I'm having this at about three or four o'clock here. Um, handy meal whenever I'm going to, to coach runs because I can't really sit down and have a big meal. So sometimes drinking your calories is, the, is nearly the best thing to do. So here's the, uh, here's the recipe. You can see it. The best just a way to get some calories in that's easy to make, you can take it with you, but for most of the time for me it's just trying to get something handy and then make sure you're hitting those calorie numbers. So Calories wise I'm sort of sitting in around 2,500. On a big training day it'll probably go closer to, to 3,000 if I'm doing two sessions in the day. I'm trying to cut down a bit of weight, that's why it's, it's a wee bit lower. So finished up coaching for the evening um, and now just getting the last meal on board. So going for today, so like bit of mints, uh, some veg in there and then just one of them bags of microwavable rice. Calories today is sort of sitting there around 2,500 day about 2,700. It's um, pretty much a, a normal kind of training day. Um, tomorrow I'll probably do either a bit of running or we might have a pitch. How's it going? Another day back in the gym here. Um, it's coming up to six o'clock so Got some clients in this morning, uh, starting at six, and then going to do a bit of training at seven, and a few more clients up to about 11 and a half, seven, so it's a long enough morning. So we've got some overnight oats prepared just to eat after a train today, so I'm going to do my training pretty much, pretty much fasted, so I'm not going to really eat anything. I'll probably just get a, uh, get a protein shake or something like that. So I finished up a coaching there for the, well, for the, for the hour anyway, so I'm going to do a wee bit of training there myself. Um, done the heavy lower body session yesterday and we'll probably be uh, doing a heavy upper body session and like a kind of speed day as well at some point so it's just kind of like an extra session I'm throwing in. Pretty straightforward, 8 sets 8 and most things so lots of reps. Ah boy! The 
engraving, I think, for like a handle as well, look pretty good. When it comes to, to eating and stuff and when you only make sure you're eating good but you don't want to follow any kind of strict plan, what you have to sort of do is whenever you're you're setting out your meals, you want to just make sure you're getting a good source of protein. So coming from a good source, um, so a quality meat like a beef or a turkey, chicken, something like that. And then you want to be getting your carb on your plate then. So there's, there's really only a few options when it comes to carbs. So you've got your rice, your potatoes, um, vegetables and pasta. And then you're just kind of filling up the rest of the fats. But when it comes to meals, like if you can base your meals around that there by getting a good protein on board, a good carb and a good fat, you'll probably be you'll probably be on track anyway with nutrition provided you don't. So that's the coaching for today finished up. It's uh quarter nine, so we're getting a bit of food here. It's a late one. It's a bit lighter, so I'm just going salmon and a uh, bit of veg with it here. So, calories for today got uh, 2,500 veg, bit of cooked salmon. And that's about it. That's another day done. So, today's pet session. Not this evening, so it's about 20 past seven in the morning here. So, just finished the uh, morning clients there, or at least for an hour anyway. Um, so we're getting a wee bit of breakfast on board here and then uh, we have our pet session tonight so yeah, breakfast, overnight oats, bit of coffee, overnight oats, keep chatting about them, really good, really handy, bit of protein in that there as well. Today's all about getting a good bit of carbs in just for the session tonight so oats is a really easy go-to one. And because there's been quite a bit of response on my Instagram channel to to kind of pull up my training more and pull up my, my eating, especially for Gaelic players, you know, and how you, how you can train and how you can eat as a Gaelic player. Um, and there's nothing really else out there, I don't think, that's specific for, for Gaelic players or hurlers or, or whatever, like, so I want to keep doing it and I'm hoping that it's going to be useful, like, and I'm hoping that a few of you can, can take something from it. Um, but we'll see how it goes, I'll take it one at a time and, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. You can also check my, my Instagram channel, Quinn Strength Conditioning. Um, there's a lot of workouts up in there and lots of tips. So yeah, check that out as well. But uh, thanks for watching.